The labialized palatal approximant, also called the labial palatal or labia palatal approximant, is a type of consonantal sound, used in some spoken languages. It has two constrictions in the vocal tract, with the tongue on the palate, and rounded at the lips. The symbol in the International Phonetic Alphabet that represents this sound is, a rotated lowercase letter h, or occasionally j, since it is a labialized j. The labialized palatal approximant can in many cases be considered the semivocalic equivalent of the close front rounded vowel y. The two are almost identical featurally. They alternate with each other in certain languages, such as French, and in the diphthongs of some languages, and y, with the non-syllabic diacritic are used in different transcription systems to represent the same sound. Sometimes, y, is written in place of y, even though the former symbol denotes an extra short y in the official IPA. Some languages, though, have a palatal approximant that is unspecified for rounding, and therefore cannot be considered the semivocalic equivalent of either y or its unrounded counterpart i. An example of such language is Spanish, in which the labialized palatal approximant consonant not semivowel, which does not exist in Spanish, appears allophonically with rounded vowels in words such as ayuda a u -a -the help. It is not correct to transcribe it with the symbols or j, the only suitable transcription is. See palatal approximant for more information. There is also the labialized postpalatal approximant in some languages, which is articulated slightly more back compared with the place of articulation of the prototypical labialized palatal approximant, though not as back as the prototypical labialized velar approximant. It can be considered the semivocalic equivalent of the close central rounded vowel. The two are almost identical featurally. The International Phonetic Alphabet does not have a separate symbol for that sound, though it can be transcribed as or both symbols denote a retracted, centralized, w, advanced w or centralized w. The equivalent X Sampa symbols are H underscore O, H underscore W underscore plus and W underscore, respectively. Other possible transcriptions include a centralized and labialized j, j in the IPA, j underscore underscore w in x sampa, and a non-syllabic in the IPA, underscore caret in x sampa. Especially in broad transcription, the labialized postpalatal approximant may be transcribed as a palatalized labialized velar approximant w in the IPA, w or w underscore j in x sampa. Compressed palatal approximant The compressed palatal approximant is typically transcribed in IPA simply as, and that is the convention used in this article. There is no dedicated diacritic for compression in the IPA. However, the compression of the lips can be shown with the letter B as J, B simultaneous J and labial compression or J, J modified with labial compression. The spread lip diacritic may also be used with a labialized approximant letter as an ad hoc symbol, though technically spread means unrounded. The compressed postpalatal approximant can be transcribed simply as centralized, and that is the convention used in this article. Other possible transcriptions include J, centralized J, modified with labial compression, and centralized with the spread lip diacritic. Topic. Features Features of the compressed palatal approximant Its manner of articulation is approximant, which means it is produced by narrowing the vocal tract at the place of articulation, but not enough to produce a turbulent airstream. Its place of articulation is called labia palatal, which means it is labialized palatal, accomplished by raising the body of the tongue toward the palate while compressing the lips. Its phonation is voiced, which means the vocal cords vibrate during the articulation. It is an oral consonant, which means air is allowed to escape through the mouth only. It is a central consonant, which means it is produced by directing the airstream along the center of the tongue, rather than to the sides. The airstream mechanism is pulmonic, which means it is articulated by pushing air solely with the lungs and diaphragm, as in most sounds. Occurrence Because the labialized palatal approximant is assumed to have compression, and few descriptions cover the distinction, some examples in the table below may actually have protrusion. Topic. 
Protruded palatal approximant As there are no diacritics in the IPA to distinguish protruded and compressed rounding, an old diacritic for labialization, will be used here as an ad hoc symbol for the protruded palatal approximant. Another possible transcription is or J, a palatal approximant modified by endolabialization. Acoustically, this sound is between the more typical compressed palatal approximant and the non-labialized palatal approximant J. Topic: <laughs> Features. Features of the protruded palatal approximant. Its manner of articulation is approximant, which means it is produced by narrowing the vocal tract at the place of articulation, but not enough to produce a turbulent airstream. Its place of articulation is called labia palatal, which means it is labialized palatal, accomplished by raising the body of the tongue toward the palate while protruding the lips. Its phonation is voiced, which means the vocal cords vibrate during the articulation. It is an oral consonant, which means air is allowed to escape through the mouth only. It is a central consonant, which means it is produced by directing the airstream along the center of the tongue, rather than to the sides. The airstream mechanism is pulmonic, which means it is articulated by pushing air solely with the lungs and diaphragm, as in most sounds. Topic. Occurrence Topic. See also Voiceless labialized palatal approximant Labia palatalization Notes <laughs>